Hello, hello everyone. First of all, thank you very much for all the subscriptions you've been dropping on my channel. Closing in on that 100k subscribers as well. No idea how long it's going to take, probably quite some time. But thank you very much in helping me reach that goal. I really do appreciate the support. Today, we're going to be covering the Holland, a tier 10 Swedish, well, <clears throat> pan-European. We absolutely shouldn't call this entire line a Swedish DD line because clearly they just happen all to be Swedish, especially all the high tier ones. I think the lower tier ones have one or two non-Swedes, but it's supposed to be a pan-European line. Holland is fairly unique in multiple different ways. First of all, the torpedoes are completely in a class of their own. That spread even is superbly narrow. It is the most narrow spread you can get unless you're single launching Royal Navy um, torpedoes. Sometimes the spread is even too narrow. If you're trying to launch it at long ranges, you end up getting zero hits because the spread was just too perfect and the battleship or cruiser or whatever made a small course adjustment and you ended up whiffing. But I'll get into the torpedoes more later. First, let's go over the base stats. First of all, the ship doesn't really have too much health. It's got 19.2k base health and more importantly, it only does 35 knots. You have an 8% speed boost and you got a speed flag to help you out a bit, but you still only reach about 36.7 knots, which leaves you very, very slow. Uh, I, even you ba You're basically moving at daring speeds all the time. And daring has access to smokes and better concealment than you do. You got a 6 cam concealment. So when it comes to vulnerability, the Holland does have some significant issues if you ever get caught out of position. You struggle to disengage in this thing. It is very, very difficult to get out of a bad position. It's just slow, poor concealment, and more importantly, a fairly low health pool. And pretty importantly, the ship is quite large. It handles well, the acceleration is good, um, the turning circle is 660 and the rudder shift is 4.3, so it doesn't feel like a clumsy DD. It is quite agile. The issue is mostly that it is quite slow. On the other hand, uh, the plane spotting range is quite small. I think it was something like 2.8 and you actually have some monstrous AA, which I will get into later. The firepower is great. The DPM is 215. If you build for it, you can get it up to 265. But Holland is actually more worth building for these torpedoes. Because honestly, they can be quite monstrous. Even if the actual damage, I don't know if you've been paying attention to the numbers of the, that the, these torps have been putting up, the torpedo damage is actually pretty trash. But once again, I'll get to that later. You got two turrets, very much, very, very Friesland esque, with two guns each. Uh, the DPM on them is, well, the reload on them is two seconds. You can quite easily buff this more if you want to, but honestly, it allows you to trade quite well with, with most ships. You obviously out trade the likes of Shimakaze, Z52s, and all of this. So, in terms of DPM, even without building for the guns, you actually have very good gun power. You also have access to a heal. So when it comes to trading with other DDs, you do a really good job. The issue is, of course, always if you pick a fight with an enemy DD and they choose to smoke up, you lack the ability to do the same. Which means most of the time, when they, if you pick a fight with a DD and they have a smoke and they instantly smoke up, well, you end up eating a lot more damage than they do. Even if you have better uh, DPM, even if you have heal, all of this, the fact that when the team joins in, in and starts piling on you, your lack of smoke really, really hurts. Especially if a carrier joins in at the same time because you get spotted and so forth. It can, basically, things can get messy pretty quick in, in these pan-European DDs because they lack the means to disengage efficiently. The APDPM, also very high, 252k, you can buff it up to 318, but once again, the bread and butter of this line, basically the fun is these torpedoes, and these torpedoes are hilarious. You can only launch 10 of them, but the base reload on them is 100 seconds. This can obviously be cut down quite easily to, I think, 76 and a half. Uh, I'm actually just about to launch them, so you'll get a good idea. But more importantly, these torpedoes are stupidly fast. They are 86 knots of speed. 
So the, I, I keep calling them missiles because they're so stupidly fast. Because they literally feel like missiles. Once, once you launch them, boom, they can catch basically anything of guard. The issue is, of course, well, you might whiff them. And they do have that unique spread that I mentioned a couple of times. You can alternate between a wider basically the normal spread that every DD has and then you can use that super narrow spread that is unique to these pan-european DDs and that super narrow spread is actually really really nasty if you manage to catch ships off guard I've devastated various ships just because you're able to land so many torps especially from these kind of odd angles we're not talking full broadside we're talking slightly angled you're able to catch them off guard quite easily the torps do have downsides though um, detection isn't really one of them. The detection is 1.8 kilometers. Now, 1.8 might sound high. Oh, that's what the nerfed Clavera Torps are. 1.8 km concealment. But you got to remember that these things are so fast. So even the Clavera Torps that have 1.8 km concealment, uh, they only do 75 knots. So you have a 8.9 second reaction time when it comes to Clavera Torpedoes. However, these Holland torpedoes, because they do 86 knots, means that the reaction time you have after seeing these torps is only 7.8 seconds, which is obviously brutal, um, very, very quick. Uh, it's the same as Daring torpedoes. It's, it's better than Sommer's torpedoes. So they offset this poor concealment by just being so blazingly fast. Because they're so blazingly fast as well, it means that these are the most effective against ship running, ships running in the likes of Hydro and such, especially if it's short-range Hydro. Uh, it just it might not be enough to save them because they come at you so damn quick. And the narrow spreads can be so narrow that they're almost impossible to dodge. Now, I made these torpedoes sound completely amazing. But one thing that I didn't mention is the alpha damage on the torpedoes. 10.7k per torpedo. 10.7k. So what this means is that your alpha strike is actually an extremely pitiful 107k. If you land all 10 torpedoes, a full volley like I'm sending out, if you land all of them, you do 107k damage. That's before torpedo reduction. For example, if you land them all on something like a Yamato or a Musashi or a Kremlin, ships that have basically 50% reduction, well, you're gonna do about 50k alpha damage, which isn't that impressive. It doesn't sound impressive, and honestly, when you start understanding just how much damage the other ships do, it sounds even less impressive. Even the Z-52, a ship renowned for its poor alpha strike, that thing does 115k alpha. This thing does 107k. Um, Z52 also does better DPM, torpedo DPM, 77k versus Holland's 64k. In fact, Holland's torpedo DPM is some of the poorest in the game. Um, just about everyone has better. Even uh, the Grossoboy, I think. Grossoboy has better, Kaba has better. Uh, the only ship that has poorer torpedo DPM than the Holland is the Haraguma. So the torpedo DPM is complete trash at 64,000. The real torpedo boats, like for example Shimakaze, that thing does 140k DPM. And in comparison, Shimakaze's torpedo alpha is 357,000, which is more than three times what the Holland has. Uh, in fact, something like Sommer's torpedo alpha is 215, um, let's say Hayate, well Hayate is probably a poor example, let's take something like Gearing, Gearing side torpedo alpha is 179k. So you understand that 107k alpha on the Haaland is extremely pitiful and 64k DPM is sad. But this combination of these incredibly fast torpedoes with 15k in range means that they are quite flexible. It's easy to launch them at basically any target on the map. Um, they are so fast and so stealthy that you tend to land a fair bit of hits. I haven't really racked up any really big, like, huge damage monster games, but in terms of ship effectiveness, the ship has been very, very effective. When you add in the heal as well, it's pretty much a standard heal. It lasts for 14 seconds. It, it heals you for 1.2% of your max health per tick, um, and it has an 80-second cooldown. So you can heal something, I think with the full flag, you heal something like 3.8k a pop. When you run Superintendent, you got four of these. So you got a fair bit of sustain, and this combined with the DPM and the torpedo DPM, basically, you are a hybrid in every sense, except you like smoke. 
So obviously this also means that open water gunboating in the Hanland is quite difficult. Uh, you don't really want to be actively shooting at cruisers or battleships or anything unless they have their guns pointed away. I've, I've tried it a bit but the issue is that the Hanland is huge in size, it's slow. It's huge and slow. And a huge and slow DD is very very easy to shoot. The shell velocity is pretty good, but I mean, it's still not going to win any rewards. And ultimately, I found that just focusing more on the tor torpedoes than the guns have netted me better results. It is a nice hybrid, though. And the one thing that I haven't even touched upon yet is the anti-air. Even though on paper, the AA might not seem that effective, in actuality, it's very, very strong. And that's because there's this weird thing about this mid-range AA. Uh, they have, there's one mid-AA mid gun, the mid-range AA gun, which is a 57 millimeter gun. And what this does is, well, the range of this gun is five kilometers. And what this does is that it bumps up all the mid-range AA damage to five kilometer range. So, all your mid-range is 5 kilometers, which is really, really impressive, uh, because combined with defensive AA and focus sector, the DPM output on, on the AA is very effective, very strong, and um, the Holland is actually really good at dealing with carriers. Of course, the issue there is not so much shooting down the carrier planes and defending against their strikes, as much as the fact that you get spotted doing it. And in the Holland, as I mentioned, if you get spotted in the, in the wrong time, in the wrong place, you struggle to disengage, and you can get wrecked quite hard. Overall though, besides these obvious weaknesses, no smoke, and slow speed, and fairly low HP pool, and 6 gang concealment, which is a bit sketchy, you kind of struggle hunting down enemy DDs, especially if they're kiting away, uh, and true gunboats will basically just shred you. Let's, that's that's pretty obvious. I've, I fought a Grosovoy who just took some distance and angled away. He did have some support, but the, the ship struggled. The DPM output is good, but it's not take shred other gunboats good. If you build for the DPM, it would absolutely do well there. But, oh sorry, it was a Daring, not a, a Grosovoy. But the Daring just kind of shredded me. He, he's got that DPM advantage, and combined with just the agility and the smoke and everything, it was an extremely difficult fight, and he just ended up shredding me pretty hard in the fight. So the ship has clear limitations. It also has pretty clear strengths. I'm not exactly sure what type of role they're looking for for the ship. It's really nice against carriers, so in, in the sense that it is able to contest caps if a carrier is present, it will be able to defend, uh, defend against the carrier, but it won't be able to defend against the incoming fire that the carrier spotting provides. So, overall, these ships are pretty fun. And this is just my first impressions, I've only spent one day playing these ships, so this is just my initial look of how the ship performs. Pretty damn fun. Um, the small land, the other one that trades, the small land is has a radar instead of the or defensive AA, and it trades off a lot of gimmicks. The small land I found to be significantly less enjoyable. Um, it was very strong against DDs, but I'll get into that ship later. I have a lot of ships to cover. I hope you enjoyed this first impression of the Holland, and I will talk to you guys later, if you can be honest. Dropping me a subscription is always appreciated, as I am actively trying to build this channel even larger. Thank you very much, and I will talk to you guys later.